Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's Friday. So what's that mean? It means you turn your volume down because it's another mail day, mail day, mail day video where we go through the week's packages that we've received through subscribers, through contest wins, and through eBay purchases. Quite a bit to do this week, so let's get right into it. First one's coming from Evansville, Indiana, and our friend Brett Jesse. We know what this is. <coughs> Brett saw a recent uh, TTM video. Uh, Brett's done a lot of blind trades with us, but it doesn't always have to be a blind trade. He saw something in a recent uh, return video of ours, and it was uh, Joe Oliver in the 92 upper deck. Of course, he's working on a couple of different um, upper deck sets, and he said, I can send you one of these. And he listed about six or eight cards, and I said, let me see that Jeff Facero card. Facero, I do not have him. I've tried him last year, and he did not answer my call. And uh, he's now charging through uh, Pass Pros or one of the other groups right now. So be tough for me to get. So I thought I'd do that. Trade him for the uh, Joe Oliver card that I recently received. Very fair deal. He just notified me through uh, Facebook Messenger and let me know that way. So that's there's millions of ways to do deals, guys. If you want something that you're interested in, let me know and we'll work it out. Next one is an eBay purchase. It's a $250 purchase, but it was... 425 shipping for one card, which is kind of sketchy. So what's that total? Um, 679 total. And it's Joe DeLamalore's rookie card. 74 tops, I think that is, with the goal post. That's his rookie card. Sometimes tough to get. People seem to know the value for that one. Uh, Joe's a Hall of Famer. Signs through the mail for a Pretty hefty fee, but he sometimes encloses a separate card of his own, the Hall of Fame card, so that makes it worth it. Next one is uh, no price on that one, so I forget how much I paid for this one, I guess, or maybe I didn't know what it was. Oh boy, just tore that package to smithereens. Oh yeah, that's the James Lofton. James Lofton numbered... Uh, Relic and signed. It's on. It's a sticker autograph, not on card autograph, but it's numbered, I believe. Yes. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Twenty-one of forty-nine. Focus in there. Twenty-one of forty-nine. James Lofton. I think I paid about seven dollars delivered for that. It's a nice thick card with a came with a top loader. Let's see if the receipt says what I paid. It does not. It just talks about the return and thanking me for the purchase. All right. On to the next. Got some Roger Craig rookies here. I think I got a pack of six. What? Why do I need six Roger Craig rookies? Because I think he's going to be in the Hall of Fame one day. There's 84 tops, six of these. He, uh, 1284 delivered. So just about $2 and 20 cents, I guess. $2 and then it's uh one seventeen cents. Six two dollars and seventeen cents a piece delivered, which I don't think is bad at all. Next one, I don't know what this is. All right, it's an eBay purchase. I'm busy on eBay this week. Eddie approved non-blue tape. Masking tape. Oh, okay. I saw Mets Rule get the uh get the unicorn back. Jesse Orozco's signature. He's signing through the mail now, I guess. I, You know I love that 1,000 games pitched club, and he's the leader of it. He's most games pitched of all time. He pitched forever. That's his rookie card on the 81 tops, along with Mike Scott. I got two of those. He's signing for $5 a card, I believe. Let me double-check that before I send it out, of course, but that's going to be worth it for me. I love that 1,000 games pitch club. All right, $1.98. Delivered. It's a one card. And it is Mike Ken's rookie card. I think Mike Ken will be in the Hall of Fame one day. That's that 81 tops, I think that is. $1.98 delivered. 99 cents plus 99 cents. All right. These are 74 tops baseball. Another eBay purchase. Right around $1.50 each, I think. Delivered. All 74 tops. Taped them in there nicely. Dollar Kessinger, pretty cool card. He signs through the mail. 
Generally takes a while, but that's okay. Tom House, a very dependable signer through the mail. Signs with a ballpoint pen, typically. Jack McKeon, Trader Jack. That's all 74 tops. Diego Segui signs. His son David signs as well. Gene Klein's old Pittsburgh Pirate is a really good signer. And uh, if you look at his 70, so let's see, 72 tops, 74 tops, and 77 tops, they're all in the exact same pose. Uh, he's on the Rangers in one of them. All right. Next is uh, 80 and 81 football. 24 cards, I think. And these were just about a dollar a piece delivered. It'll be TTM Fuel. I love getting the vintage football and baseball signed through the mail. And that's what this is. I feel certain. Doo -doo. Oh, look at that. Phil Sims. I've never gotten Phil Sims through the mail. He's uh, kind of a sketchy signer through the mail. Couldn't get his rookie card, so this is the next best thing. I think that's his second year card. Marty Lyon signs through the mail. Jim Zorn. All these guys will sign through the mail. Vegas Ferguson. Greg Landry. Throwing Samoan Jack Thompson. Bill Berge. Great player. There's another Mike Ken rookie card. Mike Ken's going to be hearing from me quite a bit. Fouts, Hall of Famer, signs for free. Brunig's second year card. There's another Fouts. Jeff Van Notes, a great signer. Don McCauley, Greg Landry again. Mark Mosley, the MVP, 1982. Joe Ferguson, Bob Tucker. Brunig's rookie card on the 80 tops. Pat Tilly signs. Louis Kelcher, dependable signer, never gotten him. Never gotten Gary Fensick back. There's another Bergie. And Giants linebacker, Brian Kelly. So... All those. So I'm getting ready right through real quick. Next one is a contest win from Sunnyside Sports and More. It was a 350 uh, subscriber giveaway. Boy, he's growing leaps and bounds. He just had a 250 giveaway. Then about two weeks later, he had a 300 giveaway. And then last week, he had a 350 giveaway. And I just happened to win, I think, second place or something like that. So he sent this in another package. I don't know what this is, actually. He's going to sense there's my name on that. And Sunnyside Mystery Pack. That's what I want. I think it was a third place win. He said he was going to put some singles in of my favorite team, maybe, I think he said. T.Y. Hilton. Dan Marino from University of Pittsburgh. Kyle Anderson on that shine. shine. Uh, Hayden Hurst. Aaron Donald. Nick Chubb. Dak Prescott. Damon Arnett, and a autograph card sticker by LaMichael Parine of the New York Jets. Pretty cool. All right, Sunnyside Sports and More. Check him out for yourself. He does a lot of wrestling. He does a lot of uh, autographs and uh, a lot of things, Joe. I'll, I'll put a link down to his channel down below. That was quicker than I thought it was going to be. Another Mail Day, Mail Day, Mail Day video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give me a thumbs up if you like Mail Days. And uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think your favorite was? What do you think of Jesse Roscoe's autograph? Is he going to sign for me or not? Does he know I love a thousand games pitch people? We'll see, huh? Uh, go subscribe to Sunnyside Sports and More. Uh, check out the link in the description and leave a comment. And I'll leave a one clip subscription right here. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified of all my future videos. And then I'll leave last week's Mail Day video, Mail Day, Mail Day, Mail Day video right there on a one click. In case you missed it the first time, you can go get your eardrums popped by clicking and watching again. Hey, thanks for being with me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.